this worm bin has uh, been going for about a month now and you can see it actually has um, so some of the vegetables uh, that I fed uh, the worms actually a couple months ago I fed these vegetables they are sprouting uh, so the veggie seeds are sprouting um, anyways I'm going to check and see how many worm cocoons I can find um, usually I can get an idea of if the worms have been reproducing a lot uh, if I see cocoons all over the place sometimes they'll just be a few here and there and so I'll kind of dig back a little bit and right now the worms are near the surface and they've been finishing this material that I'm harvesting today and it's very ready to harvest if I let it go too much longer the worms will run out of food they just keep re reprocessing the same material uh, and it makes it finer and finer but they run out of food they're, the nutrients aren't there anymore, and uh, so they, the worms will actually start getting skinnier. But by looking at these worms, they are still doing good. They're, they still are nice and plump. Uh, so I know that they've been able to get the nutrition they need. They'll get a lot skinnier, skinnier when there's uh, no food in there. So I'm going to just see how many worm cocoons I can find. Uh, digging down. Okay, there's one. I'm going to set these aside over here. Uh, there's two. Uh, and, oh, uh, yeah. It, there, there's a decent amount in here. It's not chocked full. Um, all right, so three. Uh... And these worm cocoons are darker in color that I'm that I'm finding. There's one right there. I think you can see it. That's a fresher one. It's yellow. Um, they turn almost the same color as the soil uh, when they're re uh, ready to hatch. So that's four. There's there's a decent amount in here. Um, I think it's going to be a good turn out um, each one of these little cocoons here they can actually hatch between one and three baby worms um, so you always hope that you get three three red wigglers per cocoon that's ideal but hey I'm not I'm not picky if I you know can have one healthy one I'm happy um, so these aren't hatching yet um, I haven't seen any baby red wigglers going around in here uh, yet i'm guessing april in may i'll start seeing baby worms and um and then when they start hatching it seems like they do it all at once and you just see them all over the place um and the hard thing about it is so i uh use a one eighth inch screen to um, harvest my worm castings and um, the baby worms go right through that one eighth inch screen and so if I don't harvest at the right time I'll lose a lot of baby worms with the worm castings that I sell to customers so I try to time it right so that the the baby worms get bigger um, and big enough that they don't slide through the one eighth inch screen um, so, let's see if I can, there's those cocoons I found. That didn't take me very long to find those, and there's more in there. So, I'm pretty happy about that, because uh, I did lose some worms during that hard freeze that we got. Um, I, what, what happened was the indoor uh, room that I use was not heated, and it got really, really cold. Um, and I think the worms were trying to survive. Maybe they thought that that uh, they were about to die, and I had some tr escape. 
Uh, so, so I did lose, I probably lost a couple pounds of worms, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred worms, maybe, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, sometimes they do that. Um, the nice thing about if you have uh, hard freezes, it will get rid of the competing species of worms that you don't want. Um, you don't really, if, you, if you're doing uh, wor uh, vermicomposting with red wigglers like me, you don't really want blue worms or um, Alabama jumpers. Um, I've, I've had both, and that's another healthy red wiggler. Um, I don't like either the blue worm or the Alabama jumper. Unfortunately, the they both can kind of look similar, especially when they're you know smaller and babies. They can look similar to the red wiggler. A lot of people get confused and don't even realize they have Alabama jumpers or blue worms, and then they get frustrated when all their worms die in their worm bin, and they sometimes think, "Man, I'm not that good at running a worm bin and doing some worm farming." Well, it may not been your fault. You may have bought. Uh, blue worms or Alabama jumpers um, that were labeled as like red worms or red wigglers. Um, anyways, I, th this summer what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually purposely order uh, the wrong species of composting worm, which is um, one of them is blue worms. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you can tell the difference. Um, they just are completely different worms. The red wiggler is one of the best composting worms, um, and it's just hard to match some of its it, uh, its qualities, especially how much it can handle the extreme colds and heats like we have in Oklahoma. Um, all right, well, have a great day, and I'm going to put this little guy back in there. Um, and feel free to, uh, you know, Hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm going to keep posting uh, worm composting videos. Um, also, send some questions that you have in the, uh, in the comment area, and I will answer those. All right. Have a great day.